hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today we wrap up the Circuit Vent series with video 4. We're going to talk about code clauses 2531 part 7, 8 and 10. In video 2 we talked about the additional circuit vent. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about it with code clause 2531 part 7. A solar waste pipe is permitted to serve as an additional circuit vent in accordance with sentence 6 provided the soiler waste pipe is sized as a wet vent in conformance with Article 2581 and is not less than 2 inches in size. So a soiler waste pipe acting as an additional circuit vent. Well in this picture, that's this one right here. We have two laves draining into the additional circuit vent. And all we're saying here is hey, it needs to be 2 inches in size minimum. Never mind all the other words there, two inches minimum. And that goes all the way from the lav trap arms right here to where it connects into the circuit vented branch right here. Now there are some regulations as to what type of fixture can connect into that additional circuit vent. Let's read part eight to figure out what. 2531 part eight. Connections to circuit vents and additional circuit vents in accordance with sentence six shall conform to sentence 2545 part 1. Now if you're in my class, clause 2545 is a very important clause. It's going to come up with a lot of different drainage systems. So please commit it to memory. Know how to use this. Clause 2545. The trap arm of a fixture that has a hydraulic load of not more than one and a half fixture units may be connected to the vertical section of a circuit vent, additional circuit vent, offset relief vent, or yoke vent, provided A, not more than two fixtures are connected to the vent pipe. So what this means is that we're allowed to have up to two fixtures. I could have one fixture or two. Maximum one and a half fixture units each. Good example of this would be a two compartment kitchen sink or a laundry tray. A lab is one fixture unit, so we could have two labs, no problem. Part B. Where two fixtures are connected to the vent pipe, the connection is made by means of a double sanitary T fitting. So we need to connect these two fixtures together with a double TY. It looks like this. They need to be joined at the same height, so double TY it is. And part C. The section of vent pipe that acts as a wet vent is not less than two inches in size. Now this looks exactly like the additional circuit vent we just talked about a little bit earlier right from the trap arms all the way to the circumvented branch, will be two inches in size minimum. Part 10. Additional circuit vents shall be sized in accordance with table 2571 and sentence 25731. Now we've already been through this one, at least half of it. Let's go through the other half. Now if you want an explanation of 2573 part one, that is in circuit vent video three, so you can go back and watch that one. I will leave it up on the screen though so you can read through it if you want to. But let's jump into part two. 2573 part two. The size of a soiler waste pipe acting as a relief vent in accordance with sentence 25314 shall be in conformance with table 2410-6A, 2410-6B, or 2581, and article 2571, whichever size is the largest considering the hydraulic load drained into the soiler waste pipe. Now in that jumbled mess of incoherent English, what they were trying to tell me is how to size a relief vent that also has fixtures draining through it. In this case, I have a soil away stack that has six fixture units draining through it. Well, we're gonna ignore most of the tables that they're talking about there, and we're gonna go straight to the one that matters, 2581, the wet vent table. Let's look at table 2581. Now we're gonna need to ignore some of the phraseology that's written in the top of this. Uh, particular table. What we need to ask ourselves is, are we serving water closets? And by that, I mean, are we serving water closets in the circuit vented branch? If the answer is yes, I need to use the rightmost column. If the answer is no, there is no water closets in this system, you got to use the middle one. Well, in this example, I have six fixture units draining down. And if I look down in the rightmost column, it goes from three to eight. If I go across to the left on eight, it says, hey, you need a minimum three inch pipe, which we need anyways, because we have a water closet draining through. That means that we have sized our soil waste stack acting as a relief vent properly, three inches. 
Well, folks, the journey through circuit venting is over. I bid you farewell. Have a good day.